Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 33 in chapter 6. In this one, we will consider the two star problems. We know there are two equal mass stars, and then they just rotate about a point midway between them at the right of the revolution. They tell you the revolution, what that mean? That is pure. Agree? And also, the distance apart is the D. Diameters. And the first one asks you why these two equal mass stars just rotate with each other and not just crash into one another due to the gravitational force. So we look at this model. Of course, if there is two equal mass stars, there must be gravitational force pointing to each other. But why not they don't crash? Because they will do the central force. They will rotate with each other. This gravitational force becomes making these two objects, two, two stars, do the circular motion. And this gravitational force becomes a central force. Agree? It rotates. Yeah. The next one, what must be the mass of each star? So we need to find the mass for each one. And this one, you can see, um, you know the D, diameter. And you also know the period, tell you the revolution is ever 12.6 years. So in this one, you can see, you can find the speed. Do you agree? The V. How? Because we can see for one complete circle, the distance it covered is pi times D. And the time taking is period T. So in this one, we can find the velocity V. The next one, we look at this star. And then the... Central force is uh, provided by the gravitational force. This gravitational force is in this term and must equal to the mass times the central acceleration. It's v, star, v squared divided by r. The r is diameter divided by 2. Do you agree? In this one, we can solve the equation for this one. So we input the v inside. We'll, it looks like this one. After it looks like this one, we can just uh, make this uh, term more sim simplify this term, it is 2 pi squared d divided by t squared. Agree? Yes. You can do that by yourself. And then finally, we just divide the g at this side and times t squared there, we find the mass for this star. It looks like this way. Thank you.